Have you ever had to use the expression, it ain't over until I say it's over? Well, this just happened the other week. So Sean and I were leaving the Dominican Republic and we had a flight to New York and a connecting flight to Phoenix. And as we're sitting on the plane, there was just one little snafu. We were two hours delayed. And by the time we touched down in New York, we had 10 minutes to get to our connecting flight. And as Sean and I are sitting on the plane, we're like, what do we do, what do we do? <laughs> I go and talk to the flight attendant and I said, what is it that we do once we get off? Like we have a connecting flight. And he's like, ma'am, you run like the devil. You run like your life depends on it to try and make that plane. And I was like, all right, we can do this. We can do this. I'm telling Sean, we got to run right when we get off the plane. And JetBlue did something so kind. They told all the passengers, hey, if you could sit down and just let the passengers with connecting flights off first, that would be fantastic. So here I am, I'm getting ready to run. I'm excited. I'm doing this whole thing with my hands. Like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I smacked the flight attendant in the bottom as I'm getting excited. And he's like, ma'am, <laughs> he's like, the door is not open, but I promise you, as soon as that door opens, you can run. And I was like, yes, okay, we got this. I'm so sorry, but yes, let's do it. So as soon as the gate opened, Sean and I bolted and we had to go through customs, of course, and back through TSA and then back to the terminal. But while we were at TSA, his bags got checked. And I'm like, oh, of course, now we don't have a lot of time. And he's like, let's just forget about it. Let's just go back to the check-in counter and see what the next flight is. And I was like, babe, it's not over until I say it's over. We still have time to get to the gate and for them to tell us if it's too late. And so I grab my backpack, I grab my bag, and I'm running through JFK in my flip-flops. I'm total on sweating here, trying to make it to the gate. And I'm like, I'm gonna at least figure it out. If they say it's over, then it's over. But I don't believe in that. So I start running, I get to the gate, I see the plane leaving. And I was like, okay, now it might be over. <laughs> and I'm banging on the door because there is no attendant to help me at the gate. And I'm like, all right. So Sean's walking up 10 minutes later and he's like, so we gotta catch the next flight. And as soon as he says that, the woman from the door comes through and she's like, you know what, actually that wasn't your flight that just left. Your flight's still grounded. So yes, you can get on, you just have to check your bags. So we got home nonetheless at 1 a.m. that morning and all was good. So here's the lesson. It's not over until someone actually says it's over and now you have to plan for plan B. And that's what I needed to tell Sean is, we just needed to keep running and figure it out and get a solid answer. So that's the lesson for this weekend, a fun story. I'll never forget it. It was so calm and relaxed on our anniversary until that flight, um, but everything was good. And, and that was it. Well, have a great weekend, everybody. Happy Memorial Day, and I'll catch you back in another Lessons in My Lexus next Friday. See ya.